Happy Friday, everyone. Welcome back to my craft room. Today is day three of our ephemera cards. So here, are, here is my stash of my little ephemera supplies. <laughs> I have some of the words and some of the images. And today we're going to make a guide card. And I just pulled out just these two little items from my ephemera pack. And then I have some designer series paper. This is from the painted lavender set. So I have the, the little gingham check, and then I have the little piece of floor. I guess those are little, I don't know what those are. <laughs> and look at this. This is from Easter. It's a piece of very vanilla. That's going to be for the front. And then I have a piece of very vanilla for the inside. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to glue our two pieces of designer series paper. This one's going to go right at the bottom. And then I'm going to glue it to our very vanilla base or layer. Okay, we'll set that off to the side for a moment. Then I'm going to bring in these two scraps. And I'm going to bring in from the Unbounded Love dies. I'm going to bring this piece in right here. And I'm going to cut one out in crumb cake and one out in black. And I will be right back. Okay, so I have those two pieces right there. And our fish is going to go on there. I'll show you how in a second. Okay, so now for our little words here, I'm going to go ahead and glue them on a piece of black. And then I'm going to cut a border all the way around. So it kind of shows up a little bit more. I'm going to be wringing my silicone mat. And blot off that extra glue. Okay, I'm going to let that set for a second before I do my cutting. And we'll bring these pieces back in. Okay, so I'm going to bring my cutter in. And I'm going to cut the black one in half. Okay, just like that. And now I'm going to glue it to the right behind our crumb cake piece. And it'll show up just like it's a, a little border. Okay, so that's what it looks like. We just cut it right in half. It works perfect, doesn't it? Okay, I'll bring this piece back in and go ahead and trim all the way around it. So it's going to have a little border also. Okay, so that's what that looks like. Now let's bring the front of the card back together. So I'm going to bring this piece in right here. That's our front piece. And I'm going to bring in some black twine. And I'm just going to wrap it around a few times. I'm going to start in the back. I'm going to have a little longer piece in the front here. And I'm just going to wrap it around a couple of times. Three times. And I'm just going to kind of tie a little bow or a little knot. And we're going to play with that a little bit more. I don't want to do that yet till we put our other pieces down. Okay, so I'm going to put that's going to go there. This is going to go here. Our fish is going to go here. And our for you is going to go like about right there. So first thing I'm going to do is pop this one up on dimensionals. And I'm going to pop our fish up. And I'm actually going to undo this because I want to kind of wrap it underneath and get all those pieces together. And then this piece here, I'm going to pop up on dimensionals. But before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and glue this down to the front of our card. Okay, we're going to do the inside of the card, but before we do that, I want to do something 
I want to add something to the front of this card. So I'm going to bring in my hole punch. I'm going to bring in a scrap of black. And I'm going to punch a couple of holes. And on my pick a tool, there's a end that has a little bit of putty there, a little sticky stuff. And I'm going to go ahead and put a dab of glue on my little wall plaque. And lay those down like the plaque is hung up on the wall. Now we're going to do the inside. I'm going to bring in my little container with all my ephemera pieces. And I want to talk about this just a little bit more because um, I want to tell you the names of the pack so I get them right. So we have Say Something Ephemera Pack, which is all these words. It's got big words, little words, lots of different ideas. And then we have Something for Everything, which is all these little images that I'm using. There's also a full flowering ephemera pack. And there's also labels and layers, which have these little background images. So there's four different ones. This is kind of new uh, for stamping up. And if you are interested in this, and so like I said, you basically can just use your ephemera pack with all your words and everything, but sometimes you like to stamp. There's a great little stamping set. It's called Simply Said. It's got some great generic type all occasion sentiments. Happy birthday. Thanks. Let's celebrate. Miss, miss you. Hello. Thinking of you. Just a note. Thank you. So it's got a lot of good words in there. So that's Simply Said. I will add the Simply Said to my project sheet in case you are interested in getting a, a all around all occasion stamping set to go with your um, ephemera packs. So now we're going to do the inside of our card. So I want to kind of look at some of these words and decide what I want to put on the inside. So here's all the little words, tons of great sentiments and sayings, but I think I'm going to go way over here to the big words. And I'm going to pull out the sentiment, good luck. I know somebody who recently retired, so I think this card is going to be perfect for him. So I want to show you a little trick. So I'm going to go ahead and I have some press and seal paper. So if you guys aren't aware of it, it looks like this, press and seal. It's just a little bit of a trick, and it sometimes helps when you're gluing letters on, keeps them in place. So I'm going to go ahead. So I kind of just laid that press and seal right over my words. Let me see if I can put this back here. And now I'm going to go ahead and put some glue on here. I don't do this very often, but it's really good when you have letters that are all apart and separated and you kind of want to lay them down evenly but it helps in lining them up and it helps so you don't get glue all over your fingers when you're trying to glue this tiny little piece. And if you let that glue sit there for a while, it kind of dries up so it doesn't really squish out so much. But now I'm just going to turn this over and I'm going to go ahead and lay it down right on my card. And then I'm just going to pull that press and seal off and my sentiment will be stuck just like that isn't that a neat trick I love it isn't that a cool sentiment look how cool it looks the font and everything it's really fun so I'm going to put that on the inside of our card okay there we go our final ephemera card <laughs> I think that's a funny word. I don't know why it makes me laugh, ephemera. Anyway, I do hope you enjoyed all the cards this week. Let's bring them all back in. So we have our Make-A-Wish card. And then we made a Pretty Sympathy card. And then we made our Guy card for you. And good luck. This is my retirement card for my friend. So let me know what you think about the ephemera packs. Let me know what you think about today's card. Leave me some comments. If you're new, please subscribe. We'd love to have you join us. I will be back next week. And if you love my cards and my videos, don't keep it a secret. Share my link and names with your friends. Your support helps my channel grow, and I sincerely appreciate it. 
Thank you for spending some time with me this week, and I will see you next week. Don't be shy. Stamp and shout. <laughs>